this video, I'll be showing you how to use PowerShell Universal to host Universal Dashboard version 2 and version 3. So in this example, I'm actually running PowerShell Universal just as a desktop app. So you can see here that I have a console window that's currently running Universal. You can download Universal from our website. If you go to the downloads page at the bottom, we have the PowerShell Universal uh, download links. I'm just using the zip here and running the exe for the Universal server. So once I have the Universal server running, it will actually start up a web server on port 5000. From there, I can log in using the default admin username and then uh, navigate to the dashboard page here. You can see on the dashboard page that I don't have any dashboards defined. If I click over to the frameworks page, you'll see that by default there are two frameworks installed with PowerShell Universal. There's Universal Dashboard 2.9 and Universal Dashboard 3.0 Beta 3. Each version of Universal Dashboard uh, framework will be versioned independently and can be updated independently of PowerShell Universal. Now that we have these dashboard frameworks um, installed, what we can actually do is create new dashboards based on those frameworks. On the dashboard page, in the top right corner, click Add Dashboard. You'll see that a dialog box appears that it will allow you to enter information about the dashboard. Uh, the first tidbit of information that you're going to want to provide is the name. This is just a friendly name that appears in the UI. Uh, second, we want to uh, identify the base URL. This is the URL that you're going to go to um, inside your PowerShell Universal uh, website to actually view this particular dashboard. So we're just going to go to the v2 base URL. I'm actually going to use a uh, dashboard v2 PS1 file that I've created based on PowerShell Universal Dashboard 2.9. You can see here I'm just creating a table, um, getting some services, and then showing the name and status of those services in the table. So if I actually grab the path to this particular PS1 file and go back to Universal, put that in the file name um, text box, that's the file it's actually going to call to start this dashboard. Next, I want to select the framework that I'm going to use for this particular dashboard. Since this dashboard was built with uh, Universal Dashboard 2.9, I'm going to select that. Finally, you have the option to select the PowerShell version. I'm just going to keep it on PowerShell 7, but I could also select PowerShell 5.1 here if I wanted to as well. Uh, once I click OK, it's actually going to create this dashboard inside Universal, uh, PowerShell Universal and start it. It actually runs the dashboard as a separate process so that it doesn't um, uh, in, or interfere with any of the assemblies that are loaded inside PowerShell Universal. Additionally, you can see that it's running inside the PWSH um, assembly. You can view information about the dashboard as it was starting on the log page. Uh, there's also information about the memory used by the dashboard and then any sessions that are available on the dashboard. You can see here are some, uh, some log output that is available for or from the dashboard. This will also include any errors that it had uh, if it tried to start the dashboard and failed. Um, next, we can actually click this View button here, and it'll take us over to the dashboard. You can see here that I'm running a PowerShell Universal Dashboard uh, version 2.9 dashboard uh, inside uh, PowerShell Universal. I have a single page here called Services, and on the Services page, you'll see that I have all my services listed inside of a new UD table. If we want to do the same thing with uh, Universal Dashboard 3.9, what we can actually do is click Add Dashboard here and do the same thing, but select uh, version 3. So what I'm going to do is uh, name it version v3. We'll put it at the v3 base URL. And you can see here I have another uh, dashboard.ps1, um, and this one was designed using uh, Partial Universal Dashboard 3.0 Beta 3. Um, I'm using new UD table again, uh, and again I'm getting all the services and putting their name and status inside the table. So if I copy that URL or file path and paste it into this file name here, and then now I want to select Universal Dashboard uh, 3 Beta 3. Click OK, and you can see that it started another dashboard uh, at the base URL of slash v3. If I click view, It'll take me over to that v3 dashboard, and now you can see that I have the beta version of uh, Universal Dashboard 3 running inside PowerShell Universal. Again, I have all my services listed with their statuses present uh, in this table. 
So uh, additionally, we'll be adding the ability to add your own frameworks. So um, there are some community frameworks being built that you'll be able to add to the frameworks page and start hosting multiple dashboards within a single web server uh, today. So you can actually go out and download PowerShell Universal now and start adding your dashboards uh, to this platform and managing multiple dashboards in a single easy to use administrative UI uh, that you see right here. Uh, to download Universal Dashboard, head over to your PowerShell Universal, head over to the Iron Man Software Downloads page um, and scroll down to get either the zip or the MSI installer.